Pest control cop out. I wonder when spring starts. When does spring start? Sunday, March 20th? I know, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late, but the weather here has just been, well, like that. So honestly, I thought it was still winter time. I didn't realize until I re researched it yesterday when spring was, I'm like, oh <laughs> So today I have compiled a list of what I believe are the most stylish essentials to wear this spring. So let's do this. Starting with the feet and working our way up, we already know what color choice gonna be popping this spring, baby. The white sneaks. Ones that you're gonna see that are gonna be extremely popular this spring is the New Balance 550s. These come in copious different colorways. And as you can see, I've got the white and gray ones, which I believe are the most versatile, but there are also so many other really sweet colorways that they're going to be dropping or have already dropped that I would definitely try to get your hands on. All in all, having a white sneaker in general is an essential for the spring. So if you can't afford the new balances, get yourself an Air Force or a van. Now moving up to our pants, let's start with jeans. Spring is when you're typically going to wear lighter colored denim. Lighter washes are much more suitable for the spring because you don't really need to worry about it getting as dirty. Also, you're going to feel much cooler versus darker denim, obviously, because the sun's not going to get absorbed into that fabric. It's also desaturated blue, which is actually much easier to style with other colors without having that color clashing. Another option, which is my personal favorite, this is the jogger waist stretch pants. These are so good for the spring and summertime. They are that extremely lightweight material, so you get the breeze going up your legs and up to your nuts. <laughs> They're incredibly elegant, so you can even use these as a dress pant for a more dress up occasion, or even just as a simple outfit that you want to have a more premium look. I'd say if you can only afford to buy one of these essentials on this list, I'd definitely go for these pants here. So obviously in some places, shorts will be needed for the hotter days. So the main thing with shorts is getting them at a good length. Ideally, you want to have ones that are above the knee because you're going to look like a major goof when you're wearing shack shorts. <laughs> Typically seven inches and below is going to look the best and it's going to show a little bit of those quads off. In terms of what's in style, I really like these terry cloth ones from Abercrombie. These ones are always going to be in style because they're minimal. But as for the more trendy, styles right now we have the mesh shorts which i don't actually own but i think these look pretty sweet but once again only if they are at the right length so that's another option for you guys onto our upper layers you'll need a bare minimum a white t-shirt and a black one these are going to be your base layers or even on its own depending on the temperature now for your outer pieces you also want those to be fairly light as well and that's why i think the puffer jacket is the absolute perfect piece it's got that lightweight breathability <laughs> I'm totally kidding. My favorite pieces are the button down shirts and the camp color t-shirts. I think the ultimate combination is these layered over top of a tank top or a t-shirt. It's going to give you that extra bit of warmth when it's a little too cold. And it's also going to give you that interesting layered look. And of course, it's way too cold for those as it sometimes is. Lightweight denim jackets look great over a plain tee and overcoats are always the dressier stylish option to go for as well. As for the more trendy pieces, cardigans and sweater polos are huge huge right now because companies have kind of thrown on that modern twist onto the designs and I think these look beautiful. They give you that vintage look with the cool colors while still looking like they're your clothes and you know not your 95 year old grandfathers if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy it as usual please smash that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys in the next one.